as creations. I'm going for the trifecta today. This is the third um, stream that I've done today. So uh, this time we are going to be doing alcohol ink. Um, I'm going to try to do a flower in a little bit, but first I just wanted to take care of a bit of housekeeping organization. Uh, so you may recall there was a previous uh, stream where I had these printed off and went through and put all of the alcohol links that I had from Rangers. So we've got, this is sort of the base colors, and then we had the alcohol pearl, um, which kind of hard, they don't really work well on this plastic, um, but they add that shimmering effect. And then we had the alloys, and I only had one of that and actually I think now I just remembered why these are over here. This is my um what's it called? Not an alloy but my mixative. So these look very similar here especially probably for you on the screen but they behave very differently when they are being used um, with the alcohol inks. The alloy tends to stick together and kind of have a leafing effect and the mixatives mix in, sort of as the name implies. Um, and so what I was going to do was, I remember now, I was going to write on here that that was that one. I'll do that in a little bit so I can get the right name for it. But what I wanted to do is I have um, all of these um, inks from Jacquard Pinata. These were the first inks I bought, um, and so I figured I would probably add them into the case with the Ranger inks, but first I wanted to make um, a little list of what these guys looked like as well. Um, so I was thinking about putting it on the backs of one of these ones. Uh, I think I'll do it on the back of the pearl because I do actually have... Um, I don't know that they call it anything in particular, but I have a silver and a rich gold, um, which is really interesting because if you can kind of see, it's green um, kind of in there, but then it's got the gold at the bottom. So we'll have to make sure we shake that up really good. Um, but I don't have anything that would be considered a pearl. So I think the pearls will be a good one to put this on the back of. And then that way we're able to compare uh, if I want to see what my colors are and compare the two different types. Uh, same with the alloys um, or metals in general. So I've got my blower there for later. So yeah, so let's start with this. Um, I'm going to try using my acrylic paint marker to label everything. Um, We'll see how this goes. So we'll start off by, of course, saying that these are, how do you spell, jacquard with a C. So we'll go jacquard, pinata, and they do actually have a thing over there. And I've got these organized right now. Um, Let's see, maybe I'll put them up here. I don't know if you'll still see them, but I mean, you'll see them when I'm using them. So, no, I don't like that. I'm going to put these on the ground for a second. Move them back over here. Um, you still can't see them, but that's okay. I think you can maybe see where are we now. Huh, you can see this over here. If I tilt the camera a bit more. That way you can kind of see them a little bit then. Um, so I've got them in order of color, more or less. And I've got a variety, general variety of colors here. So starting with Senorita Magenta. I wonder if I should um, put the ink down first. No, let's do this. We'll go. Senorita Magenta and put there 
and these are still needing to shake. So put that one drop. And what did I do last time? I'm trying to remember. Did I put more than a drop? And did I put alcohol in it so that we could see how it would look? Maybe I'll do. Seeing as I have all this space, let's do one version of each. Why not? And I've got my tiny dropper here. So we can throw one drop in there. Look how awesome that spreads really fast. Um, yeah, that's kind of rather pinky. Uh, so I actually got, um, those are the first inks, that, like I said, that I got. And I got them initially as a pack. I think there was nine in the pack. But then um, there was a couple colors I wasn't super fond of or wanted something different. Or, of course, you know, me, I had to get all of the purples. So um, I have a couple of extra ones. So this one's Calabaza Orange. It's a very Calabaza. No idea what that is or what that might mean, but obviously it's some kind of an orange. I didn't, wasn't really fond of this orange. Um, it kind of is dark and, um, well, you'll see. So we'll do one there, one, come on, right there. And I'm already getting ink on my fingers, par for the course. And then we'll put our one drop of alcohol in there. And so these react really quickly, really well, but then of course they start to come back in with the alcohol. So anyways, yeah, I wasn't, I mean, I'm not a big orange person to begin with, but I felt like that was kind of a muddy orange. So I also bought this tangerine. So I'll do that. And let's hope I don't run out of space on here. I'm trying to think how many colors do I have? Two, four, six, 12, 13. So I, I better start writing smaller or moving less room between them. Or, you know, maybe we'll just do the alloys on a different sheet or something. And same with the, I mean, the black and white can always go anywhere. So here we have tangerine. Even this doesn't look fantastic at first, but tangerine just sounds prettier. Hmm. Anyways, moving on, we've got Sunbright Yellow, which I haven't used. So this will be good to see what it looks like. Bright yellow. Oh yeah, that tangerine's not too bad. I think once you um, dilute it more, that would look really pretty. And I guess the Calabaza orange again, it's like a deeper orange. Maybe it's not as unattractive as I first thought. So I'm starting to worry this might not be 100% flat. Uh, so some of these colors might start running a little bit further away than what I want them to do. Like that. Yellow's kind of hard to see, but that's yellow for you. Alright, and then we've got Rainforest Green. I thought I had an emerald green in here, but I think I have one on the other set, so that's fine. Uh, Rainforest Green. I mean, if I really had my act together, I could have made a square sheet just like the other ones and laminated it, but it's kind of a spur of the moment decision to do this. So let's see, one green, move this one over a bit in case it decides to run. Oof, that's gonna go into the, whoops. Well, I guess we're gonna learn what happens when alcohol ink and acrylic paint markers meet each other now. 
that's fine. Uh, next up is teal. No fancy name there, just teal. These are some really nice colors though. I think they will complement our ranger colors quite well. Um, they are, you know, different companies, therefore potentially different compositions slightly, um, which means they may react differently to the uh, alcohol, to the different papers, that kind of thing. But, um, you know, we're not doing anything super fancy or anything like that. So we'll just keep playing as we do. Baja Blue is next. Um, and as, as we play with them, we'll start to learn more about them and probably get some opinions formed. But for now, this is all good as it is. I totally went into that. I might need to add some more. I wonder if the, if the black from the marker went into the green a little bit. I might add another bit of alcohol to that one later once it started to dry more. Ooh, Baja Blue does not want to come open. That teal is really pretty though. All right, Baja Blue. I'm gonna put this one down here a bit more so that it doesn't run into the green. But you never know what they're gonna do when left to their own devices. So let's give that a second so that it can come back and hopefully not go into the green. Please don't go into the green. You're going into the green. Yeah, what I might do is suck some of this up. Stop it from going into the green. there. See if that stops. She just wants to keep going though. But maybe it'll only go as far as where we stopped it. It's thinner there now. I think that's gonna be okay. Whew! Cotton swab to the rescue. Oh goodness, that blue. I wonder if it was leaking. Anyways, moving on. Next is blue violet. Oh, I just noticed the teal bled into the lettering there. Try to keep these colors away from each other a bit. Alcohol. It's not going to go too close to that teal, I don't think. We'll keep an eye on it. Next is Passion Purple. Oh, look at this. See, I'm already making a mess. Passion Purple. purple so of course you can and some say should wear gloves while using alcohol inks uh, certainly keeps your fingers clean um, I think if you're doing a lot of it it could be toxic to your skin so it certainly doesn't hurt. Um, I am not super concerned for myself though, but I am also working in a ventilated space. And uh, yeah. All right, oops, I just put black, but it's mantilla black. 
works. So I'll just put that in brackets. I mean, to some extent, black is black, right? But I know there are many different shades of black or types of black. Funny how those purples, I don't know, it's just the lighting in here. Some of these dark colors, until you really start to dilute them, they're hard to see. But they really are. Make sure that's flat. Move this over here too. So I haven't used black in any projects yet, um, but I've been told, as with any black in anything usually, you want to use it sparingly. So I just remembered I like to mark the tops of these as I use them. So some of them still don't have, but that's fine. Just makes it easier to remember which lid goes where later. So that's going to spread out really good. All right, next I have white. And I don't know if you can tell or not, uh, but it's really liquidy here, but really um, opaque down here because this needs to be mixed. Um, I think this is not a true alcohol ink, uh, just like the pearls and the mixatives and that kind of thing. So this one maybe it didn't yeah I think it does need to be mixed but I'm not hearing a ball I think I have it mixed Did it work? anyways we'll use it see what happens and so this is called Blanco Blanco aka white So this is really good for if you're using black paper um, or I guess any kind of color paper if you get your hands on or, or surface I should say not necessarily paper um, let's put that there and um, it can be used I think to sort of make any of the alcohol inks a little bit more opaque instead of translucent. Let's see what happens there. That's gonna all oh, take a little bit of the marker. Um, so yeah, that's why you're able to use it and it's recommended like when um, the black paper that I have, you, you would want to put down some of this white first and then you would add your colors on top of it and, and then that way you have those colors standing out because they're opaque. Um, so now we have our silver that we're going to put down here. So silver, just plain old silver, nothing special about the name here. Uh, this one though we definitely need to give it a shake and there's that ball. Oof, I haven't opened this one yet. It's stuck. There we go. How is it I haven't opened this yet, but it's already got color all over the lid? Who knows? Maybe I did actually use this and that's why it's a bit stuck. Come to think of it, I think I used it in some of my initial resin art pieces before I had the resin dye. And let's throw some alcohol on that one spread and then our last one is this uh, rich gold which you can see that green inside there so we'll shake that up in just a second oh that's interesting how that's starting to separate out all right rich gold and that's the last one so pop the lid back on that marker I'm gonna put it over here for now because that belongs somewhere else and we'll give this a bit of shake. I don't know why I hold the lid even though I guess just out of extreme caution to make sure that if it wasn't on and I'm not thinking it's just automatically being um, protected. And this should, there we go. I was going to say this should have a ball. I'm starting to hear it because this one really needs a good shake. 
All right, now I'm hearing that much better. So, put a drop there and a drop there. I'm not overall a gold lover. I prefer silver, um, but the gold came with the uh, kit. And I've heard really good things actually about the bronze from them. Um, but anyways, that's that. So let's let's see how these kind of compare. I know they're not fully um, fully saved out yet, but so we've got crimson for red, and then the magenta, which isn't exactly red. Looks like we need to buy a, a better red. Uh, we've got flamingo for a pink. We've got two oranges there, plus Valencia up here, so. And we've got Sunbright Yellow and Dandelion. I think the Dandelion is a bit richer, a bit deeper color than the Sunbright Yellow. Um, I don't know if you're seeing, sorry. Let's put it this way. You can see them all as I'm looking at them too. Um, so then we've got Lime Aid, which I actually bought, accidentally bought two of. Um, and then the green, rainforest green, which is really hard to tell that that's green right there. Uh, we've got teal and aquamarine. They seem to be fairly close in color. Baja blue. Um, no other blues over here. Then we've got the blue violet, passion purple. Um, we've got purple twilight, I think that is. And amethyst is the name of this one. Um... Then we've got the black and the white. Here we've got sepia and we've got a slate, uh, so more of a gray. Then when it comes to the, oh, and then of course, yeah, did I say white? And then we've got the silver, which is certainly behaving in one way, and the gold. Uh, and then we've got here foundry and uh, whatever that silver, I think it's just called silver, mix it of um, but that one there. So I think this is a good little uh, legend to have on hand. That being said, it needs to dry, so I'm going to put it on the ground uh, so it can be flat and out of our way right now. Um, but while I'm looking at this, that blue is, Baja blue is really pretty. Um, just trying to decide what color I might want to use. I think I'm going to use the Ranger Purples. I'm going to get into some other stuff though, but for starters, um, so now we've got so I've got my surface here um, and I brought out the translucent Upo. I'm not sure if we'll use it, but it's there in case we decide to. Um, and then I've got the rectangular on you pull. Look at that, it kind of fits right there. And then I also bought some square uh, you pull. But I think, I think I'm going to stick with the small one for this project. So I'm going to grab one of the papers out of here. And that is not one of them. Uh, the only drawback to getting them in these little booklets or pads is um, they do have, I don't know if you can see, but really fine, but they have like the perforation indentations there. Um, but it's not the end of the world. Um, some people, you know, as they, as they start doing more and more and more they'll buy larger sheets of it and they'll cut it themselves i'm still at the convenience stage so um, again this is the upo which is different than the alcohol ink cardstock that we were using this is a plastic type of paper it's a specific kind upo is the type it's the brand name it's it's the everything so we're gonna start with this i don't know why i'm lining it up um, and I think, as I said, we're going to use the purples from my Ranger set. And these are all mixed up. I am planning to merge them all into the one container. But first I have to 
rearrange the rangers so that I can get them all sort of going in RGBIF format. Um, the one thing I did not get out was the alcohol blend solution. Um, I guess we'll just stick to regular alcohol today. Uh, where's that other purple? There we go. Oh, no, that's pearls. Uh, where is my other purple? Those are the three pearls. That's plum. What's this? That's... Okay, we established that I have purple twilight, which is this one, and another one called amethyst. So, where on earth did amethyst go? I guess we won't be using it if we can't find it. Um, those are the three pearls. Wild plum. Amethyst. Goodness, it was in the shadow and so it looked like it was black. Whew. That was not the one that I wanted to lose. So. Um, since I'm just using these two right now, uh, I wish one, I kind of feel like the purple twilight is the one I want to work with. So what I'm thinking about trying to do, and this is purely just, you know, me speculating and hoping something will work based on some things I've seen but didn't bother to actually look up how they were made, uh, I'm going to try to make something that resembles a flower. Not necessarily a flower that exists, but a flower nonetheless. So basically, I'm going to put some... Uh, I'm going to cover this all in alcohol because I want everything to flow smoothly. Um, so actually, why don't I just do that really quickly right now. I'll put uh, that on there. And you know the one thing I did not get in my little kit with this right now for today was some of the cotton pads. Uh, but I think if we just sort of do that, maybe grab a napkin. Oof, sticking. Yeah, I think I'll just grab a napkin and see if I can sort of spread it. Oh, look at that. Some of the ink from my hand has already got on there. But look at that, it also just washed away. So let's see if we can spread it out this way. Yep, that looks like it worked. I just want it to, I might throw some more on again, just just want to make sure that it's got a base. Um, apparently even once it's dried while we're working with it anyways, it's not fully dry, so it's still going to allow for some good flow. All right, so what I'm going to do is Put the ink just wants to stick because it hasn't dried down here. Um, I'm going to put the ink in the middle of the picture, more or less, because I want to work from the middle out. So look at all the ink I've got on the back there from my fingers. I am going to grab some hand sanitizer and try to get some of that off so that it's not interfering with the picture. Um, yeah, little tip. Oh, uh, hand sanitizer is pretty much made out of alcohol and is really good at getting most, not all of it always, but a lot of the alcohol ink off of your fingers, especially if it hasn't had a lot of time to set. Okay, so Back to what I was saying, I'm going to start working from the middle out. I'm going to use my air blower and, um, and, and alcohol, and we're going to see where that goes. And I'm going to need to put a little bit of something that's on there. Let's get that off. And pardon me for just one second, one of my dogs is whimpering for attention and he's blind and deaf so he's feeling a little lonely and lost. So I just need to... Hey guys! Guys! 
Caper's whining. I need you to deal with him for me, please. All right, somebody will come down and, and help him. So if you can hear the whining in the background, rest assured he's not injured in any way. He's perfectly fine. He's just feeling lonely. And that's about to be fixed. So um, we will carry on with this. So I'll put, oh, well, let's start with one and see, see what's going to happen here. Um, I want to blow it. Okay, please tell you. I'm streaming just so you know. So we're gonna go that way and hold the lid off because I'm gonna be using this a lot. Uh, and then we're gonna go ooh, that way. And this isn't really doing what I was thinking it would do, but it's okay. Let's throw some alcohol there and some more. Let's put a bit of this, a bit of that. That's, yeah, it's totally not going to be a flower, but <laughs> that's okay. Give me something. I just don't know what yet. And it's all going to be purple. So right now I'm just playing with um, layering different from purple to blue, I mean purple to blue. Just kind of going in the middle, putting some pink, putting some alcohol, seeing how it goes. And apologies again for the dog noise. Um, the dog's outside is barking, so of course Mia needs to make sure that everybody knows she's here too. Okay, so this is not going to be a flower by any means. Well, who knows? Maybe it's like a weird orchid or something. Um, it's kind of neat. So, um, like I said, I'm just going to keep throwing alcohol and oil or ink down and squeezing the air out and just having everything go. From oops, from the middle out, and I am super not careful. I keep bonking it um, with bonking the paper with the air blower. Um, that's okay. That's not having any lasting effect. All right, this is this is all right. It's not exactly what I wanted, um, but hey, it's purple, so it's fine with me, and it's still doing something neat. And you can see actually. You know, one of the cool things with the alcohol inks is, and certain colors more than others, I think, but um, you can see how like, there's almost different colors in this. I've only used the purple twilight so far, but if we look at this, let's see if I can hold it up a bit. Uh, if you can see that, there's like, it almost looks like a bit of a bluish undertone there, maybe. Um, so definitely we, not only do we have different shades of the color we're using, but there's some different um, undertones, different pigments that are coming out as well. So that was great using that, but I think I'm going to throw some amethyst on top of this now just to add even more um, depth to it, I guess. Have a different color. I'm still going to go. Am I going to work? Yeah, let's put... We'll keep up with the um, middle out and see the stuff. Sometimes it just moves, starts spreading out and doing things before you can do anything with it. But that's part of why we've got the alcohol. And, you know, in other cases, why we've got the alcohol blending solution, which also um, helps us move the alcohol yeah. ink around without um, without diluting the color the way that this does. I mean, as you've seen, right? We put, we put a drop of that in and we put a drop of that in and it like immediately, <laughs> look at that's like a little ripple effect. Yeah. It's probably not going to stay like that, but I'm curious. I want to see what's going to happen if I just leave it for a second. Yeah. 
Yeah. This doesn't go along with the overall concept that I've got here, but I'm just going to watch it and I'll cover over it in a second. So it had a bunch of ripples in it and now it's just sort of starting to come back and blend together again. So, um, yeah. So, uh, a bit more of that. Let's go. And again, you can see, I don't know if that blue is coming from this purple ink or if it's from the amethyst one that we had going on before. Um, but that's uh, totally cool. So now I'm going to do some more of the... Um, yeah, let's actually, let's do... I've got my mister here. Let's mist this, which even though it'll put droplets on, um, the droplets won't stay, they'll expand just like everything else does. So I do it from up here, give it a spray. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, I might leave this and see, see just how much of it actually stays. I kind of like it. But see, it's starting to lose its definition. Right, can we manipulate it still? Probably not because I let it sit too long. Um, let me give it another. Oops, totally missed it that time. Let's get that side of it. That's just, it's really cool. Um, yeah, the misting doesn't like to, it's not enough alcohol to let it move around. This is kind of neat though, um, just goes to show you never know what you're going to end up with when you're playing with this and start doing different techniques. Um, I wonder, I was thinking about using the splatter brush today too, but I kind of forget how we're supposed to use it, uh, if it's okay to use with the inks, and I think it is, but I think I need to more dip it into some ink, which I could do. Uh, no, I think we'll leave that for another day. So now the question is, do I keep playing with this? Or do I leave it as it is? I feel like I'm going to keep playing with it. I feel like this part, this piece here, it just feels too much like a... Oh, caper. Um, caper. Sorry. The dog just walked across some of these, so now he's probably got ink on his paw and he's managed to mess up my silver. So that's fantastic because he was just outside and walking in the wet grass because we've had rain. Actually, and, the is still on the ground. Well, I wasn't expecting well, a dog. just walking on them a bit. I can't feed them. Give them some chicken. Okay. All right, so let's let's put a couple of oh, let's put a couple of everything on here. And I don't know why I keep having little drops like that. But I do. And let's just let's liquid this all up. And apparently, my husband has forgotten that I'm streaming and doesn't realize how his noises travel so apologies if you just heard any of him all right this is kind of going i like this this is looking a lot better i just i love when it does these or finger things. Little fireworks. You can hear my family laughing behind me, probably talking about what just happened, but that's fine. It's just life. 
And we're not perfectionists here, so. Unfortunately, that means you also have to deal with the noises that happen in my house. All right, I really have no idea what I'm aiming for here, but it's kind of cool. I think I'm gonna put a touch of alcohol over here, maybe a touch more. Oof, that's a bit too diluted. Well, no, maybe we just need to make sure that we do some more like that so that it's not by itself. Um, how did that happen? I'm pretty sure I put the drop of alcohol here, so I'm not sure how more of it got over here. But And another oh. drop out there. What's going on here? Just don't want any of these circles like that, so let's throw that in there. Let's see if we can. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to come up with a name for this because I am liking it. It's you know, like it's some kind of storm. I think we need some more alcohol over here. Huh. There's me going bumping into the paper again. has decided it's dinner time, so we will get to listen to him whine and complain until he gets fed. And as if on cue. We can have a full twilight over here with a little bit more alcohol. Sorry to make this not be such a dark spot all by itself. Ooh, that's, look at those lines go. They're not going where I want them to, but meh. So if you don't have one of these little pumps, uh, you can use an air dryer on cool. What's happened there? Uh, you can use, I mean, in theory, you can use a straw, but the problem potentially with that is um, you're, when you're breathing, you've got moisture in your breath. And so when you're breathing into a straw, you're putting moisture into the air that you're using to blow around and that's going to put moisture onto your picture and wet as in water and alcohol ink do not mix well um, so what you will end up with is some uh, spots that um, I mean you may like them and if that's the case then that's fantastic uh, but you may not so that's just something to be aware of. So, overall, I'm liking this. I feel like still up here is just a little bit too, just too much of a dark block. I don't, see, I don't like having just circles either. And that works. You know what? I think I think we're gonna call that a day. What I might do, because it's bugging me, I might just wipe off this dot that's right here uh, because it's so out of um, it's not the same vibe as the rest of the picture. So I'm just gonna. Put some alcohol on here and see if I can't get rid of that. And it looks like it's kind of set into the blue of it anyways, it's set into the, the background a bit. But let's, let's not give up. Put 
some more. Oof, and let me tell you, be glad that this is not smell-o-vision because dog food does not smell good. I do not like it. And then when they're done, they have to come and see me and get all up in my face and it's still smelling on my breath. Well, we'll live with that. Um, so, there we go. Um, purple storm? I don't know. But I like it. So, we'll let that dry. And then that'll be up on the Instagram page later. Um, so, until next time, I think we're going to leave it here. And so, just a reminder, you can find me live streaming on Twitch and YouTube. Um, there's no regular schedule though. It's just sort of sporadic when I have the time and the energy to do this. Um, but you can always find the recordings on YouTube afterwards as well. And they get sorted into playlists. So if you just want to see ones that I've done that involve alcohol ink, there's an alcohol ink playlist. But if you want to see everything I've done, there is a Christina's Creations playlist. Um, and yeah, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Come back and, and check in and see what else we're doing. Until next time, this has been Christina's Creations. <laughs>